Hello to all of you Verbling.com members. Everyone interested in working on their English? Hoping that you'll be able to improve your English this hour? I am here to help you. My name is Jeff Watson. I have the privilege of teaching English for Verbling.com. Verbling.com is where you can connect and practice with a native speaker instantly. I come from Vancouver, Canada, but right now I am living and working in South America. I live in Chile, in their capital city, Santiago. And so this hour, we are going to be doing some reading. We are going to be reading a transcript of a short film, a short animated video that is available online, free and legally at the the Story of Stuff website. You can also find it on YouTube. So first, it would be great if everyone could please go to the verbling.com website, go to the live classes page, look for the information about this class on bottled water, and download the document there. Uh, that document is the original transcript of the video and we are going to be reading this. And then you will be able to watch the 20 minute video after as homework. So, uh, thank you for joining the class. I'm, uh, I, I love the participation of the students because really that is the only way that you will improve your English. And if anyone is watching the video, you are welcome. If you're watching the class, you are welcome to participate in the Verbling chat box, the blue chat box that has Verbling at the top of it. All right, great. So first question I would like is uh, to ask everyone where they're from. Could you please describe the quality of the drinking water that you have where you live and could you please answer the question do you drink the water that comes from the tap or faucet or do you draw uh, sorry or do you buy and drink bottled water okay and so I'm going to go to Ahmed hello Ahmed hello Joe I don't. I don't know how. Uh, is it right uh, to pronounce your no, name? No, sorry. Sorry, uh, it's Jeff. Jeff. So yeah, yeah it's. I I'm use sorry. a British spelling. There's no problem at all. And the, I put that in the chat box. So the two, common spellings. The first one I use is from, uh, England or Britain, and the second one is from the United States. Jeff. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, thank yeah, you for asking. I, I'm Ahmed from Cairo. It's my second class with you. I yes. enjoyed the last one, yeah. <laughs> I recognize your picture. Yes. Um, about water, I, I'm i not very... <laughs> I, not, I, I don't trust that water a lot now because uh, oh, some so people cool. use that, uh, that filter for... Yes, okay, so people have a water filter? Yes, so they told me that uh, it's not really good as I thought before. <laughs> okay, so and, it's and very where, good. where do you live? Yeah, in Cairo, the capital. Ah, okay, all right, good. And so uh, I just have uh, the image here, uh, the one, the image with the green back is just a simple yeah, tap, a water tap, and the other one is, uh, could be called a tap as well, but it's a little more, 
um, complicated, sorry, uh, a little more sophisticated, and so it's called a faucet. Mm -hmm. and, uh, okay, and so the the water filter, Ahmed, will what will that protect you against? Yeah, it's just filters that um, other particles in water, maybe mm. sand, and uh, I don't know some bacteria. I don't organism. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. I don't so think filter... so much in in their function. Maybe it's uh, it makes the sink uh, more sophisticated, like you said. Right. I okay. think. Uh, Mm. No. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, but and I so, use that. I use tap water, not 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 buying okay. some some water. Okay. Good. You, you don't buy any water. Great. No. Uh, Ar Arwa. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Uh, could you speak a little louder, please? Yeah. Can you hear me right now? Yes. Your volume is low, but please go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm originally from Saudi Arabia, but um, currently in the United States, um, in Berkeley, California. Uh, so here we, I can drink tap water easily, but I prefer to buy a glacier or a glacier or you know the salt. Okay, and now is is this a brand name? Yeah, it's a glacier, I think. Okay. And have you investigated how that water is made and where it comes from? Well, I hear uh, most of the Americans say that uh, the glacier is uh, is uh, is originally a tap water. So yes. Mm -hmm. So I think it makes no difference. But uh, I didn't know. I prefer to drink water from a uh, glacier or a glacier water, bottled water. I okay. Mean. Yes, okay, yes, bottled water is what we say, yeah. Uh, okay, no, good, thank you. And and that's popular in California, people drinking bottled water? Yes. Okay, good, thank you. Uh, uh, so I'm going to move on. Just if I could ask everyone to please keep their microphones muted so that we eliminate the background noise. And uh, in, in, Inga, are you yes. there? Yes. 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 Hello. <laughs> uh, hi, Jeff. Nice to meet you. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm okay. originally from Russia, but I live and work in Armenia. I'm half Russian and half Armenian. Right. And um, of, uh, here um, in Armenia, uh, we are drinking uh, the water from tap, mm -hmm. and um, usually uh, we use uh, them bottle the water only uh, when we are outside of uh, house ah, right. I mean, and the streets but, are that's right. Yeah. But so you buy bottled water to take with you? Yes, okay. yes, only in that case. In the other case we have, uh, I have to say, a very good water um, so no need to buy bottled water mm -hmm. for home. Okay, and how about a reusable water bottle that you fill with tap water? Um, sorry. Uh, Do you, uh, uh, a reusable water bottle? Sorry, Nando. Hello. Hello. Yes. Could you please keep your microphone muted for us? We're we're picking up some sound coming from your microphone. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Yes, yeah. Okay. It's uh, my first time here. Okay. Uh, and so from the students the students are asked to keep their microphones muted, please. Mm. Okay, do you understand? Okay. Uh, just going to try and mute that. And, and please, uh, so Inga, uh, yes. it, this is a reusable bottle that you fill with tap water. Uh, I prefer tap water. Uh, okay. All right, great. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll move on. Thank you so much. Welcome. Manuel, Thanks. hello, how are you? Hello, fine, thank you, nice to see you again. Hello, Ready? everyone. Welcome to the uh, class. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm from Spain. Uh, the quality of the tap water uh, here depends on the region where you live. Mm -hmm. uh, in my town, the quality is almost good. Uh, and for that, I use a, a, fil a filter. 
Uh, sorry, a filter? A filter. Oh, okay. And, and what kind of filter is it, and what does it protect you against? Um, um, I think about uh, little stones, maybe. Oh, okay. So I, don't, I don't know really. It's a good filter in the in the market uh, um, from from German, from oh, Germany. From, from Germany. Okay. Yeah, so, from Germany. Okay. Um, and I think it protects me about little stones uh, or sand in the water. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, excellent. Okay. Thank okay. you. All right. Uh, but, but sorry, uh, where do you live? Do you live in an area of Spain that has good drinking water? Um, no, not really. It's okay. It's okay. fine. The, yeah. the, it's potable, how do you say it? Yeah, uh, that, we do have that word, but we do usually say it's, it's drinkable or it's safe to drink. Drinkable. But, but potable water, we do have that word. But in a conversation, people will simply say, is the water drinkable or drinkable. is it is it safe to drink all right um, here you can find also bottled water and i think that uh, all what bottled water in my country is uh, mineral water ah okay mineral water mineral water okay because i have been in other countries that the the bottle uh, bottled water is not mineral it's just Drinkable water. Uh, yeah. That's all. Okay. No, great. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And so uh, uh, we have uh, Maria with us. Hello, Maria. Hello. <laughs> My name is Maria. And I live in Sweden. And well, I usually drink tap water. Uh, sometimes I buy bottled water. I don't know why. It's just, just a habit, bad okay. habit. <laughs> but usually I drink uh, tap water. In Sweden, mm, they put a lot of effort in making the tap water drinkable and, uh, and, and well, safe. tasting, yeah. yeah, safe to drink. But of course, we had some issues with um, contamination. Like it was recently a year ago or something like that. And I don't. I'm not sure what it depends on. Sometimes oh. the Pipes get clogged, I guess, and in old houses and stuff like that. Right. Okay. So there was a local problem with with some contamination. It was in some cities, like mm. the city where I live. They had an issue with the water a year ago. Okay. All so, right. Great. But that's mm -hmm. better now. Yeah. Yeah. They have fixed it. <laughs> okay. Great. Good. Thank you. We have we have one hundred lakes here, so yeah. and most of them are very clean. We try to keep them clean. Right. Excellent. Okay. Good. Thank you. And uh, Nando, hello. Welcome. <laughs> Nando, are you there? Nando Brook. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, he can't hear us. Uh, Sala, are you there? Hello. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Welcome. You hear me? Yes. Perfectly. Your sound is yes, great. Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Uh, no, I'm uh, sorry, Salah from Syria. Salah. Now I'm uh, talking uh, to you. Salah. 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 Uh, you, Salah. Salah. You, you have an echo in the background. So you need to turn off the verbling page, close oh, the verbling window, maybe or from use the headphones. speed connection. Yeah. It's very what? important so I, that I'm the students follow. use headphones. Uh, I'll, I'll come back to you in one minute. Okay. And Victor, hello, welcome. Hello, nice to see you again. Yes, welcome. Welcome back. Um, uh, I'm Victor, I'm from Vietnam. And... Uh, what was the question again? Yes, the question was, how is the drinking water where you live? And do you drink the water from the tap? Uh, no, we don't drink uh, water from the tap water. We use um, boiled water or uh, ah. filtered water. So you have to boil the water for it to be safe? Mm, yes. Ah, okay. And uh, what... Now, well, how do you use uh, boiled water to wash the dishes or... 
No, just for drinking. Okay. And and for cooking or no, just for drinking. Uh oh. with uh just to be safe. <laughs> yes, okay. No, no. No, excellent. Great. Thank you. And uh how much water do you boil every day? Oh, actually I'm using filtered water. <laughs> oh, okay. But, Good. But many many people still will boil water and mm -hmm. I think uh they use about they have to boil about three or four liter a day. Okay. All right. No, thank you very much. Good. Uh and uh, I'm gonna go to uh Yasser. Hello? Uh, or... Yes. Yes, welcome. Welcome. Uh, I'm Dia, but I'm using my husband's email. Okay. Uh, your name, please. Sorry. Dia. Dia. Yes. Yes. Welcome, Dia. Well, uh, I'm from Jordan. Uh, the quality of water here is good, but actually we use filters for uh, drinking water. Mm -hmm. But for other stuff, we we can use the water from tank. Uh, and and what what do the filters what kind of filter do you use? Kind of filters. Um, um, uh, uh, um, or, do, do you do you understand? I, no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what what does the filter do? Uh, how does it protect you? Just to to have uh, a very clean water. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Great. Great. Yes. And and how often do you change the filter? Uh, three months. Okay. Every three months. Yes. Great. Every three months. Thank you. Okay, so uh, and and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, go back to uh, Nando. Are you there? Oh, I'm here now. <laughs> I'm, Welcome, I'm having a problem with my connection here, no. but uh, I guess that I'm fine now. Please, uh, introduce yourself and tell us about the drinking water situation where you live. Okay, I'm, I'm from Brazil. I live in Brasilia, the capital from Brazil. Mm -hmm. Brazil. Uh, this is uh, my first class here. I am studying English for today, no, I guess tomorrow, six months. Okay. And <laughs> okay. about my water here in Brazil, I don't know if you know, but uh, we have a big quantity and quality of water here. Mm -hmm. But I need to filter, of course, because uh, I don't know what. Your and so sorry, we've we've lost you there. I'm I'm going to go and say hello to uh, Salah. Are you there? Are you there? Hello. Yeah, I'm I'm yes. here. Yes. Uh, is there any echo? Yeah. With my sound. Salah. Salah. Yeah, yeah. I'm Salah okay. Okay. from Syria, but I'm now living in Dubai. I'm 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 live now in Dubai. Hello. You I can me? hear you. I can hear you very well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, we use the. Uh, uh, Sala. We use uh, the problem yeah. is. Salah, what is what is the problem? You you need to eliminate. You need to eliminate, need to eliminate the, eliminate the echo. echo. Oh. Just a minute. Please close the verbling window, and please yeah. use headphones or earphones. Oh, I haven't one. Anyone? Oh, okay. So see if you can turn off the verbling window. Turn. Please off. close. Close the Where? verbling window. Where is window? Uh, uh, with the professor. Verbling website window. Verbling. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on. Let's uh, let's uh, start. Uh, our document. Now this is challenging reading. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, move down to the uh, beginning here. And I hope that everyone has been able to 
download the site, or sorry, download the document, and here we go. Now remember, this is the transcript of the dialogue of a video. And, and just if everyone could please mute their microphones so that we eliminate that background sound. Uh, and so uh, let's, let's begin. Sorry, uh, Ahmed, uh, could you read the title, please? Okay. Uh, the Story of Bottled Water. Okay, great. And I just realized my document, the, uh, the text is quite small. Just uh, sorry, everyone. Just give me one minute here. I'm going to make it larger so that uh, people can read it. And uh, have, been, have people been able to download the document? Has anyone been able to download the document? Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. Okay. Ah, good. So, Ahmed, could you please read the uh, text that's uh, on the screen for us? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the Story of Bottled Water by Annie Leonard. 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 Uh, one of the problems with trying to use less stuff is that, that, that sometimes we feel like we really, really that sometimes we feel we feel like we really need it. Why I hear my voice? <laughs> no, it's uh Okay, let's try again. Sorry. Okay. Uh, one of the problems with with trying one of the problems with trying to use less stuff that is that sometimes we feel like we really need it. What if you live in a city like say Cleveland and you want a glass of water? Are you going to take your chance and get it from the city tap? Or should you reach for a bottle a bottle of water that comes from the Bristin rainforest of Viji? Fiji. Mm -hmm. Viji. With an F sound. Fiji. Fiji. Okay. Shall I like go now? Go Please. on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Fiji brand water thought that ans the answer to this question was obvious. So they built a whole and a, a whole ad campaign around it. It turned out to be one of the dumbest moves in advertising history. Okay. Now she's talking about a specific situation that happened between this company here bottled water with their advertising that made it sound like it came from uh, beautiful pristine forests in Fiji here is some of their advertising saying that their water is green every drop of it is green which means environmental here is another of their advertising showing the island of Fiji and how it is absolutely untouched water Okay, <laughs> and so uh, this is the uh, this is the advertisement. All right, and uh, so they uh, that we're talking about the city of Cleveland, Ohio, in the United States, and the company Fiji, uh, Fiji brand bottled water. Okay, so let's uh, move down to the next one, and if I could get uh, Arwa to read this, please. Sure. See, the city of Cleveland didn't like being the part of Fiji's joke, so they did some tests, and guess what? These tests showed a glass of Fiji water is lower quality, it loses taste. Tests against Cleveland Tab and costs thousands of times more. Uh, this story is typical of what happens when you test bottled water against tap water. Okay, now to be, to be the butt of someone's joke. And now in the Fiji advertising campaign, they said, what are you going to do? 
You're going to take your chances and drink water from the tap in Cleveland, or are you going to drink beautiful bottled water from Fiji? And as it turns out, after some tests were done, the bottled water was lower quality. It had a worse taste. People preferred the taste of the Cleveland city tap water, and it costs thousands of times more than the city tap water. And so this is a typical story of when you test bottled water against city tap water. All right, so we're talking about the differences between city water and tap water. Uh, Glady, are, are you there? Glady? Yes, welcome. Could you please read this uh, paragraph for us? Please turn on your microphone. You may need to click on the screen. Okay, I'll, I'll come back to you in one minute, uh, lady. Try to uh, look for the icon of the microphone on the screen. Uh, Igna, could you please read this uh, paragraph for us? Yes. Uh, is it cleaner? Sometimes, sometimes not. In many ways, bottled water is less regulated than tap. Is it tastier? In taste tests across the country, people consistently choose tap over bottled water. Okay, so in taste tests, you are asked to taste both uh, products, in this case water, and you don't know uh, which is which. And so, in, also in American law, this program comes, uh, this, this article was written, or this video was produced by a group from the United States, and they're saying that in many ways, Bottled water is less regulated than tap water. Okay, great. And so I'm going to try and get a hold of... Glady, are you there? Okay, I'm sorry, we don't hear you. You need to click on the screen. So, Manuel, are you ready? Yes. Could I get uh, you to read this uh, paragraph for us? All right. Uh, these bottled water companies say they are just meeting consumer demand, but who will demand a less uh, sustainable, less dusty, way more expensive product, especially one you can get almost free in your kitchen? Bottled water costs about 2,000 times more than tap water. Can you imagine paying 2,000 times the price of anything else? How about a $10,000 sandwich? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stop there. Now, uh, what, uh, what they're saying in this paragraph, and, and I, I would like people to, uh, I would like people to please, and sorry, Glady, if you could keep your microphone muted now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, and, and so I would like people to make sure that they understand these points that Annie Leonard is making. So the bottled, bottled water companies say that people are demanding the bottled water. But why would people want to buy a product that's more damaging to the environment, less sustainable? It, it, it's less tasty, is the pronunciation, so it's less flavorful and it's way more expensive. Now, to say that something is more expensive is a common uh, option. But this is a very good ex uh, expression in English, to say it's something is way more expensive. This is very common in English. Okay? So, uh, this, is the, this is the idea. Now, what we're going to do is uh, I'm just going to move on this this next little bit here. Sorry. Uh, here we go. So, uh, Glady, are you there? Could you please turn on your microphone now, Glady? Okay, we we still don't hear you, Glady. I'm sorry. Uh, Maria, could you please read this for us? Uh... 
And, and, and I'm sorry, I need to move it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, the first, just the first paragraph? Uh, no, uh, part, yet, yet people in the U.S.? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yet people in the U.S. buy more than half a billion bottles of water every week. That's enough to circle the globe more than five times. How did this come to be? Well, it all goes back to how our material materials economy works and one of its key drivers which is known as manufactured demand. Okay, and uh, uh, let's, uh, let's stop let's there. <laughs> and so if people, uh, Glady, hello, how are you? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Oh, thank you. Uh, okay. okay. And but you have an echo, Glady. Could you please? Yeah. Uh, are Are you ready to do some reading? Okay. Okay. Could you please read this next paragraph? Yes. If companies want to keep growing, they have to keep selling more and more stuff. In the nineteen seventies, how how giant giant stop to drink coffee. But, but worried as they grow, projected to start to level of things. There is only so much soda a person can drink. Plus, it wouldn't be long before people began re realizing. It's the, that's it? Realizing? Re realizing that soda is not that healthy and it turned back to gasp, drink, tap water. Good. Thank you. But you, uh, Glady, you need to eliminate the echo. Please okay. close the verbling window or you need to use headphones. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So, let's review the idea of, of what Annie Leonard is trying to say. But is, is anybody willing to, to give their ideas? of the opinion here? Just some points that Annie Leonard has made about bottled water. Uh, uh, my name? Please, yes, Manuel. Uh, the, the drink companies uh, realize uh, that the, the drink uh, they usually do uh, is not uh, um, started to, to, to buy Less. Okay, right. So uh, they they thought about what can uh, we they do for that, and okay. they they thought that uh, to sell uh, drinking tap water was uh, was a good idea. Good to to sell bottled water. Yeah, yeah, and the term is called manufactured demand. And the numbers are the references that are in the document. Manufactured demand when companies, advertisers, or marketers create an artificial demand in the market. So there's no need for the product. In the United States, I would say 90% of the people don't need bottled water. They have world-class drinking water. But Producers want to try and create an artificial demand, a manufactured demand. And yet, and people in the U.S. are buying huge amounts of bottled water. It's a huge industry, and yet it seems as though there's no need for it. All right, and so uh, let's, let's uh, go on to the next part, and... Let's see if that's it. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to go to uh, Nando. Yes. Please, could you read this next uh, paragraph for us? Uh, begin the idea? Uh, well, sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Well, the company's, uh, the company's fault, their next big idea is a silly design and product, product that most people 
louder, louder, La louder. laughed, 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 and as a pacing UP fed nine, water is free. People said back then, what you they sell us nest air. <laughs> okay. Okay. Stay, <laughs> st stay tuned for that. All right. Now this is we're talking about the 1970s. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the time when soft drink companies started thinking, how can we make more money? Because there's only so much soda, which is are, are things like Coke and Pepsi. Uh, how much can we sell of this? So we need to try and expand our market. And people laughed at first. How are you going to sell bottled water? Water, water is free. But at that time, perhaps in the uh, 80s, it was fashionable, it was a fad, it was in style to uh, buy water by yuppies who were young urban professionals. Okay, so let's go on to the next bit here. And uh, Maria, you had a chance to read, correct? Yes. Yes, good. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anyone. And so uh, I'm going to go to uh, Salah. Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm still Please. here. Excellent. Please read the paragraph. So how do you get people to buy this uh, free product? Uh, simple, you manufacture uh, demand. How do you do that? Well, imagine you are in, char in, char uh, in charge of a bottled water company. Since people aren't uh, lining up, lining? To, lining up to trade their hard-earned money for your unnecessary product, you make them feel scared and in in insecure if they don't have. If they don't have it, mm -hmm. have it. Okay, great. Uh, thank you. And so what we're talking about is a fringe product. So that is um, a, uh, a different product, not a, uh, not a normal product, a kind of a specialty product. And they, she is saying that they manufactured the demand for bottled water by scaring people, by saying that they created... Uh, fear that drinking water, tap drinking water, was not safe. Okay? And uh, they're, they created, uh, uh, they're trying to make people feel uh, scared or insecure if they don't have bottled water. And this is, this is the uh, position of the people at the Story of Stuff. All right, so let's move on, and we're back to Ahmed. How are you? Yes, yes, I'm here. Good. Uh, I'm going to move the next paragraph up. Go ahead, please. Mm. And that's exactly exactly that uh, what the bottled water industry did. One of their first marketing tactics was to scare people about tap water with ads like, Vigis Cleveland campaign. When we're done, one, one top water executive. Yes, one top water executive said, "Tap water will be relegated to shower and washing dishes." Okay. Next, so, you. Yeah. No, I'm just going to get you to stop there. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And so, in the 70s, they started. The, with their advertising campaigns to criticize uh, tap water, to promote bottled water. And uh, when we're finished, when we're done <laughs> with our advertising campaign, people will only use tap water for showering and for washing the dishes. Okay, so let's go ahead with the next part of their plan. Uh, Arwa, could you read this uh, section for us, please? Uh, next, you hide the reality of your product behind images of pure fantasy. 
Have you ever noticed how bottled water tries to uh, seduce us with pictures of mountains, steam, streams, and uh, pristine, pristine? pristine, pristine nature, nature? Good. But guess uh, where a third of all water, water in the U.S. actually comes from? The tap, Pepsi's, uh, Aquafina, and Coke's. Des Dasani, I think it's called. Dasani yeah, are two of the many brands that are really filtered tap water. Okay, so what was uh, now Annie, Len uh, Annie Leonard is saying that the big soft drink companies started to create a demand for bottled water in the 1970s. So what did they do? They did two things. Anyone? This is your chance. I'm here to help you. <laughs> what did the big soft drink companies do to start getting people to pay money for bottled water? It didn't exist before the 1970s. They marketed the water. I guess. Oh, okay, sorry, Maria, I heard you first. <laughs> uh, yeah, they marketed the water as if it was coming from like a very pristine nature. Or, Absolutely. Okay, yeah. that was one tactic. And and who else had a comment? They try to uh, scare people about the quality of the tap water. Okay. All right. Great. So let's let's move on. Those were the two tactics that Annie Leonard is saying that the big soft drink companies did. All right, but let's uh, let's read this and um, I'm sorry we're, we're with uh, Glady. Glady? Are you there? Glady? Yes? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Please go ahead. Okay. But the Pristine natural lie goes much deeper. In a recent full page, Eddie Nest Nestle? That's Nestle? It? We, I Nestle. say Nestle. Okay. Nestle said, but the water is the most environmentally responsible consumer product in the world. 14 what? <laughs> they are trashing the environment all along the product life cycle, exactly how it's that ev oh my environmentally God. environmentally responsible. Thank you. Good and a and a good R sound re responsible responsible pristine pristine, pristine and nay nature with a strong Na A sound nature. Okay. Thank so you. now, and then Nestle is a very big food company, and they're promoting bottled water as being a responsible consumer product. Okay, all right, and so here, uh, let's let's uh, get the next person going here. Um, I'm sorry, ah, I, in, Inga, Inga. Yes, yes, I'm <laughs> here. Thank you. Uh, the problem starts here we, uh, with extraction and production where oil is used to make water bottles. Each year making the plastic water bottles used in the US takes enough oil and energy to fuel a million cars. Okay, I'm going to move on to Manuel. So you're using petroleum to create the plastic to make the bottles. Okay. All that energy is spent to make the bottle even more, to ship it around the planet, and then we, we dream it in about two minutes. That brings us to the big problem at the other end of the life cycle disposal. Okay, great. So what they're saying is, uh, what is the... Nestle said that bottled water is a sustainable product, but what what are the environmental impacts of selling bottled water? Who can help me with that? Just turn on your microphone and say, hi, Jeff. 
What are the, uh, yes, Manuel, go. No, no the question, uh, what is the question, sorry? Yeah, what is the environmental impact, or what are the environmental impacts of producing and selling bottled water? They need to use uh, oil, uh, oil uh, petrol for, for yeah. the plastic, for, okay. for instance. Okay, so that's not sustainable. All right, well, how about another impact? Someone? Well, a result of yes. that is carbon dioxide emissions. Dioxide emissions? Dio okay. Dioxide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> carbon dioxide. Now, how is carbon dioxide produced? Uh, it's come. It's produced when you burn fos fossil fuels, and okay. so those small particles get into the air. Okay. Now, and what? When are they burning the the oil? When they produce the plastic bottles. Oh, oh, okay. Now maybe because they're sort of transforming the oil into plastic, but okay. when are they going to be burning up lots of gasoline and lots of diesel fuel? This is one of the other impacts. When they trash the bottles, I don't know. Sorry, yeah, no, uh, there, was, there was one idea when it's, there's even more of an impact when they ship the product. Uh, yeah, shipping? right. What, what does that refer to? Uh, can, can anybody help? To carry the product from one place to another. Yes. So you need to produce the bottles, and then you you create the bottled water, and then you need to ship that. You need to transport that product all over the country. So the you're shipping water. Uh, I know that in Canada, some people buy imported water that comes from Europe. And so you're transporting water all the way from Europe to North America to sell it. That has a huge environmental impact. Okay? And then at the end of the product life cycle, that's where we're referring to the life cycle of a product, uh, you need to do something with all of the empty bottles. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Uh, and so um, uh, we're with you, uh, Manuel, correct? Yes, I was the, the, oh. the last. Oh, okay. So, Maria, could you read this for us, please? Maria, are you there? Sorry, Maria, we don't hear you. I'm, I'm going to move on to Marina. Hello? I'm sorry, I was muted. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Go ahead, Maria. Okay, what happens to all these bottles? Bottles when we're done, eighty percent of eighty percent end up in landfills where they will sit uh, for thousands of years, thousands of years. I'm sorry, thousands. or in yeah, I, I can't pronounce that word. I have never <laughs> seen it before. Incinerators, 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 where they are burned, releasing toxic pollution. The rest gets collected for recycling. Okay, so in the United States, what happens to uh, most of the empty water bottles? Can someone put that in their own words? And uh, Nando, do you have an well, idea? Yeah. I am. I am. I'm listening. <laughs> Everyone here, and then think about the difference between Brazil and the United States about the the bottles. The, I guess that the I don't know if the United States is like here, but you re here we recycle the most of of the 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 bottles. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I I don't know if it's in the United States too. Okay. I guess not. <laughs> yes. Okay. No. No. So uh, now, do you know what? Go ending up in a landfill means when the land end up in the la it's uh, the time life that I, uh, I, I don't a know landfill. Land is that okay. they dump they dump yeah. the bottles like on the ground yeah somewhere. It's, a, it's a garbage dump a landfill mm -hmm. so an empty place in the earth and yeah, they dump you, the garbage and they bury it mm -hmm. 
But yes, Bernie. That's well, the, they bury, bury it. Bury, bury, bury. Yeah. And then sometimes uh, garbage is incinerated. It's burned. Okay, but that releases toxic pollution. Okay, so great. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, let's uh, move on here. Uh, so Nando, go ahead, please. Oh, okay. I was curious about where the plastic bottles that I put in the recycling bins go. I found out that the ship ship loads were being sent to India. So I went there. I will never forget reading of the hill outside Mantras where they come face to face with a mountain of plastic bottles from Do you see it? Sorry. <laughs> California. Rio's recycling would turn these bottles back in the bottles. But that was, wasn't what was happening here. Let me, let me stop you there. Thank you. Great. Okay. All right. So uh, she did some studying of this issue. She personally has investigated this. And so we, we uh, people in the United States recycle approximately 20 percent of the bottles at least at that time perhaps it's better now and then are those bottles being turned back into bottles and where is the recycling happening okay so let's move on to uh, Salah are you there yeah yeah I'm here I'm seeing Please. could you read this paragraph yes I can and instead, these bottles were, stay, were slated uh, to be downcycled, which means turning them into lower quality products that would just be ch chucked later. Uh, the parts that couldn't be downcycled were thrown away there, shipped all the way to India just to be dumped in someone else's backyard. Okay, so this is what was happening to the vast majority of the bottles that were sent to India. Okay, and chucked is a slang term for being thrown away. And so lower quality products and that they would not try to recycle those products. They would just be thrown away. All right? So they're even shipping the empty bottles all the way to India. All right. So let's uh, continue here. So everyone's doing a great job. Sorry, I hope you're with me. Uh, Ahmed, could you read this first little bit, please? Okay. Uh, if bottled water companies want to use mountains on their labels, it would be more accurate to show one of those mountains of plastic waste, scaring us, seducing us, and misleading us. Uh, these strategies are all core parts of manufactured manufacturing demand. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop because we're, we're running out of time and and so what I wanted to do was to get some reactions from people and also uh, to show some pictures and, and to get your comments about the pictures that I have. And so Ahmed, uh, can you start, do you have a, a personal reaction to this story? Yes, that's the thing I thought about when, uh, when that um, ads for filters and uh, minerals bottles, uh, yeah, made made spread and in TV and all people uh, bought that filters to to save our to save uh, themselves and their families' okay. health. Okay, and and so uh, some of that my, marketing my, is happening in Egypt. Hmm. What? Some of this type of marketing is happening yes, of in course. Egypt. Yes, mm -hmm. Yeah, even my brother and sister uh, bought that filters to to save their health. <laughs> okay. I yeah, I am I am not. Uh, I didn't uh, recognize that fears also. <laughs> so to protect. So I want to yes. share the first picture. I'm originally from Vancouver, and the first picture uh, is of Capilano watershed. So this is the area where Vancouver gets its drinking water from. It's completely closed to people. It's a beautiful lake. Uh, and really, so Vancouver, you're drinking some of the best 
drinking water from the tap in the world. So the, the tap water in Vancouver, uh, you know, the water that comes out of here in Vancouver comes from here. <laughs> and I, I can, uh, I can uh, confirm that. <laughs> I've been there. Okay. But uh, I, I wanted to get a, a personal reaction to the story from Arwa. And what do you think of this picture here, Arwa? Arwa, are you there? Okay, we, we don't hear uh, you, Arwa. And so, Gladili, uh, are you there? Yes. Yes. Could you please share your reaction to the story? And what do you think of the photograph that I'm showing here? Oh, uh, I think this is more, more complicated to the environment. Yes. Uh, what uh, is more complicated? The, it's very gravity in the in the floor. Right. Okay. Yeah. No. Thank you for your comment. And okay. you know, I think that's that's a typical garbage can during the summer <laughs> in a lot of cities. And I don't think that any of those bottles are going to be recycled. I I, I assume that they're just going to be. Uh, taken to the garbage dump. Uh, Inga? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, do you have a personal reaction to the, the story? And what's, what's your reaction to this photograph here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, about story, I have to say that I mentioned uh, one sentence um, uh, in which uh, um, as uh, some companies uh, water uh, take from the um, yeah, tap uh, which we use uh, at home, uh, at home. Right. so uh, it's not good and uh, in my country uh, I have uh, that kind of story and that um, mm, that company was closed some uh, months ago um, so uh, it's uh, really true um, that some companies use that. And mm -hmm. about this peak, um, this is very positive. Uh, usually I see uh, such peaks uh, when um, uh, when I uh, where I can see the champagne, um, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> not water, okay. yeah. um, but. Um, no, but I mean this this marketing. Just positive emotion. But it's water, yeah. you know, and they're marketing water. Maybe it's clean water. Let's hope it's clean water. But they're marketing it as some kind of amazingly high class, sophisticated champagne-like product. So crazy yeah. that that people believe these kinds of advertising messages. In in my opinion, <laughs> Manuel. Uh, could you give us a reaction of, to the story and how about this picture here? Yes, a huge mountain of uh, bottles. I think uh, uh, they are going to be recycled Hopefully, into plastic yes. or something. Mm -hmm. uh, my personal opinion of the, about this uh, his, his story, story, story. Is, story is that the, the companies is trying to, to make money selling products. In that case, the products is water, which is, uh, it is free in most of the, 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 the countries and places. And I don't understand uh, that in places that, uh, for example, Vancouver, with uh, such uh, quality of, uh, of, of water, uh, can people uh, buy a bottle, bottle, right. uh, bottled uh, water? Bottled water, and, and they bottled do. Bottled water. Yeah, it's amazing. They do. Now, uh, I want to move on because I have to end the class fairly quickly. Maria, uh, yes. could you give us a reaction to the story and, and this picture here? Uh, well, yeah, of course. I don't want to buy any bottled water anymore after because I watched the video as well, and uh, okay, she's absol I absolutely agree with her. Uh -huh. And uh, the on the picture we can see, I think it's 
yeah, it's a sort of bottle which you can use over and over again, and yeah. you can take your tap water with you, I, I yeah. guess. No, and so I, I think it was maybe, uh, Inga, did I ask you about that? Uh, do you have reusable or refillable water bottles? Refillable, yes. That, that was the Is idea. I think I was talking to you, in Inga. And so, and then yes. the material is aluminum, uh, and so they're saying that that is safer. The, the latest information is that aluminum is the safest material to use in your reusable, refillable water bottles, not plastic. Okay. So, great. All right. And Marina, are you there? Okay. So, Nando. Yes. Could you please share your reaction to the story and what about this picture? Oh my gosh, when I see that I think just uh, one word, waste, waste, it's correct? Waste. Uh, waste. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, not just this picture but all the pictures talking about how we are stupid because <laughs> we can't, we, you just see uh, in the our point of view never when they see the trash uh, with all the the bottles mm -hmm. I can see just one thing uh, the people are thinking think that live alone in the world and you put your bottle there just that don't worry don't care about the 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 trash about the the pollution about the 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 rest of the human being in the planet. Yeah, right. I okay. can't see just that. Waste. Waste okay. and the... Now, uh, sorry, sorry. I, I'm going to uh, uh, chime in here and I, mean, I hope this plastic is going to be recycled into safe, uh, useful products, but I wonder where those bottles came from. Were they shipped from another country? Uh, you know, and people are not taking responsibility for recycling their own waste. And Salah? Yeah? Yes, could you please give us your personal reaction to the story? Uh, and uh, my, my view mm -hmm. or my uh, my viewpoint for this uh, I think is this uh, oh what what is <laughs> what is picture? Well, oh. uh, I I think it's someone reusing candies candies or yeah. uh, animals food as yeah as gifts. Oh yeah. Um but I'm please my with your personal reaction. Yeah. yeah, my point is uh, uh, the nature uh, will be winner uh, at last, and uh, poor people. Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, oh. uh, Sorry, please, will please uh, winner will uh, win the the uh, fight uh, with us. So <laughs> yeah, and this is uh, media. We can look at this. Uh, cannot... Smart smart water with Jennifer yeah. Aniston. Yeah, it's yeah. Such amazing fashion. Yeah, so it means wow. it's media. So. <laughs> I have to get out there and buy that. Okay, so uh, great. I, I hope that you found that interesting. I hope that you people take the time to look at the video. You're prepared to watch the video. She speaks very quickly. And so if you can understand that video, your English is really great. <laughs> and also that. Please make sure that as a citizen of your country, you make sure that your government is investing money in providing safe, uh, very low cost drinking water to people. Um, because uh, as more people buy bottled water, the government can cut money from the uh, drinking water uh, budget. All right. Take care, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for your participation. Great job. Okay, thank I hope you. to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.